Hey guys, so the last time we, sp we painted a space marine, the video got corrupt, so I feel like I owe you one. And this is a very special model. Most people, the average person, has never actually seen this space marine before. These are very old. These were designed specifically for GW to hand out to their suppliers to teach people that were interested in the product to paint. These were given out for free and you would sit at a table with 10 or 15 people and they would tell you how to paint a space marine. What we're gonna do with it is grab a brush. Let's see, let's get a new one here. Uh, for those of you that are curious, these are one of my favorite synthetic brushes. Needless to say, I do have a pile of Citadel GW brushes that are brand new. I just don't use them that often. It really depends on what I'm doing. If I'm working on something simple like this, I like a synthetic brush. If I'm working on something that's much better, bigger. I prefer a natural hairbrush. Natural hairbrushes are great for washes, glazes, mm, if it's thick enough, contrast. So, batter up. Soak the tip of this brush. Also, if you didn't know it, what they use to point these brushes when they make them, and this goes for synthetic and natural hairbrushes, they use cornstarch mixed with water and they just roll it around in a circular pattern. I'm sure there's all sorts of videos out there if you're interested in it. Uh, let's see here. Get our brush dry. So we're going to speed run this and just see how quick we can paint a space, space marine to be just slightly above table ready. Um, we'll start with the head, I guess. If you can, avoid getting your paint on the eyes. Come in here. Off to the side. There we go. Get this rim. A little more paint. And we're, we're not going to rush this, but we are going to see how quick we can do it without putting ourselves into a tizzy. Um, I may even use the airbrush to dry the paint in between coats. I imagine it's going to take less than 30 minutes. Get down in there. If you can't see it, don't paint it, right? Well, that drives me nuts. <laughs> I get told all the time, people aren't going to pick up your miniature and look at it like this. Actually, every single time I paint a miniature, somebody picks it up and looks at it like that. Don't tell me they don't. <laughs> oh, this guy's a commissioned painter. He paints all the time. We'll see what he's doing. And as a commission painter, I can tell you, it's it's not as fun as it sounds. At that point, it becomes a job. And it's most likely not going to pay your bills. Entering competitions won't pay your bills. Um, I mean, some competitions have decent prizes, but the majority don't. Uh, 
a lot of times you get a piece of printer paper and they tell you to have a nice day. Sometimes you get a free miniature out of it. It's, it's more of a, I hate to say it this way, but it's definitely more of a bragging rights type deal. You do it just so that you can brag and say you did it. I've won many of competitions just because somebody else that I knew that was a very good painter would enter a competition and I would hear about it and I would join and it may sound big of me but I would literally do it just to see if I was better than them because that would let me know that I was progressing when when you get to a point where you can paint better than somebody you actually admire and consider to be a good painter you are doing pretty good so you should always set a bar and the bar it shouldn't be low you should set a high bar I mean there's such a thing as short-term goals long-term goals and your long-term goals should always outweigh your short-term goals it really just depends on what you're trying to accomplish that might be a little much paint let's pull some off here But yeah, tra challenge yourself. Do something goofy. And don't care so much. I mean, that's that's the big thing. You, you can't care too much. If you care too much, it'll hinder you. You just gotta enjoy what you're doing. And keep doing it. I mean, try something different every time and eventually you'll learn some new te techniques maybe you'll even come up with something nobody's ever done before I've come up with quite a few things myself Now, before this video started, I actually pressed record. Um, you ever, I don't know if any of you guys mess around on media like this, but you ever start filming a video and have that inert fear that you didn't press record? Yeah, that happened to me. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't press record when I started this miniature because I primed it with an airbrush and then I went over it with a dry brush of army painter matte white and here we are after I realized that I did not press record da, 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 da. Also, for any of you that actually know what this music is playing in the background, you're an awesome human. And we're friends. But I hope you're all having a, a great day. I hope my videos help you sometimes through your days just to get away for a moment and watch and hopefully enjoy yourself. Well, we can't forget about the cod piece. I almost forgot about the cod piece. He needs his crotch protection. 
sister's battle might come for him. <laughs> you know what, guys? If you know what the... Uh, the music in the background is coming from. Tell me in the comments. I'll get a good laugh out of knowing that you recognize it. It'll also, uh, it'll give me an idea of how old my uh, followers are. Because chances are, if you know any of this music, uh, you're pretty close to my age. Now, the most important step in painting a Space Marine, no matter what color it is, is the prep work you put into it. Um, priming it well and dry brushing it. The, the dry brushing is a huge thing. If you're using any type of contrast paints, pick your poison. I'm using contrast paints because we want to do this kind of fast. But if you're using any type of contrast paints, your undercoat is so important to what the rest of your miniature is going to look like. It, it makes a difference. It makes a huge difference. If you do it properly, you can completely skip the line edge phase. Which, by all means, if you want a line edge after fact, go for it. It's your mini. You rule the world, for all I care. Okay. So I think that's going to be it for our blue. We're just going to use the airbrush to dry it off. Also, if you're wondering, this is Speed Paint 1.0. I still have a lot of it left over and I'm making up excuses to use it. Uh, I've found that there's actually some things I like about 1.0 more than 2.0. Uh, one of the big things being that 1.0 paint is actually fairly forgiving. Uh, yes, you can reactivate it and you can rub it off and things like that. But you can also take a wet brush and remove the paint from places that you didn't intend to actually get paint on. And for a lot of you beginners, that's, that's pretty huge. Being able to use a wet paint brush like it's a magic eraser. I mean, yeah, that's, that's a great thing to have in your arsenal. That blue really is looking good. Now the blue, uh, I did thin it down a little bit. And I added the world's smallest amount of um, gray to it, just to make it a little darker. Okay. Onward. Um, let's hit an eye. Get close here. Little slot there. Little slot there. Actually, let's take the eyes a little further since we're here. 
we'll put a little spirit stone on them. I like the way spirit stone looks for space marine eyes. It's got a red undercoat, so this should just kind of make them glow a little bit. There we go. Nice. Put that back on the rack. All right. Where do we want to go from here? I guess black. Get some of this blue out of our brush. Keep trying to stay in frame here for you guys, and it's a lot harder than it sounds. Oh, you're never going to see the back of the gun. Yeah, okay. I know it's there. And that's what matters to me. I know it's there. Okay. 
those couple little streaks crossed here for some added detail on our leather bags. All right. Okay, let's dry her off. And then we're gonna move on to some of our metallics. We might do another coat of black. Oh, I missed a spot. It happens right here, the inside of this elbow. Boom. Now you can do this with a hair dryer. Just make sure you don't have your hair dryer on high heat. It will force your paint to heat up. Uh, it will cause the plastic to get hot. Those are not good things. Um, if the plastic's too hot, when you go to paint it, the paint will, in some cases, almost dry as soon as it touches the plastic. Uh, that's a really big annoyance. I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of this. Uh, the black is Speed Paint 2.0. I'm not a big fan of it. It very much looks gray. I can see it being good for weather effects. Okay. Good enough for now. Uh, let's move on to some metallics. Uh, let's see. Gold. We'll start here. Get a little closer. That is not my gold color. I accidentally used the copper color. Look at that. It's okay. It all works out in the end because I intended on using all three colors on it anyways. Um, we're going to do some gold, some copper, some silver. So, not going to hurt anything. Mistakes happen, and we paint over them. And then they're no longer mistakes. There we go. Okay, try this again. Gold. Get our rims. Wow, I just made a huge mess out of that. But it happens. It do, it do, it do. So... That's actually the first time in a very long time I've done that. I'm shaky. I should probably just eat something. So we'll take a wet brush. And just drag it across. Rinse. Drag it across. do it again. Okay. We'll go back and put a second coat of blue on that and it will look beautiful. Well, let's see if we can do it this time without screwing it up. Bad. 
not bad at all. Let's paint our little skull on the chest here. And then the top of the wings, just that little line. On both sides, right across the top. There we go. Let's do the top of the knees. Why not? There we go. And we'll see. We put some on the side here of the gun. Let's change back to our copper for now. I'm going to paint this in the copper. The uh, metallics I'm using are Vallejo metal color. In case anybody was curious. Um, let's put a little copper right here. Coming from the top. Sorry, I keep getting out of frame. Let's put these down here. Oh, Fritz, you can't paint a space marine that's more than three colors. That's just silly. You know what? You do you. I'm fine with three colors, but a couple accents don't hurt anything. All right, let's go on to our silver. tying our shoes with a paintbrush here. And then we'll just turn the brush sideways and drag across the top of these. A little metal edge highlight. There we go. A little bit right there. Some stippling. A couple dots. went back to the gold. Alright, silver. We're going to go to the outer band of the wings. And we're just going to paint the outer feathers of the wings. So the skull is gold. The line across the top is gold. And then the center wings are copper. And the outer wings are silver. Three colors. Boom, boom, boom. No big deal. Let's put a couple marks on our gun. I kind of like it like it is, but you know, heavy metal. There we go. Paint our barrel. Little dot here. Little smidge there. Tap here. 
some red go to our brown Let's take a small dot of our brown and put it to the side of a palette. Let's water it down heavily. There we go. We've got these imperial seals here. We'll just give them a light touch of a very light watered down tan. I uh, need to get the underside. Okay, come back to our blue and fix that spot where we messed up. And I'm definitely using the wrong brush for this. Okay, then we dry. At this stage, if you want to use a wash, use a wash. Paint your base. I'm not going to do that in this video. I don't feel like it's very necessary. Everybody's painted bases before. But there you have it. A Space Marine. It took roughly 20 minutes if you cut a few things and have everything you need at hand. Uh, you could refine this to be even faster. Um, I'm already seeing something that I shouldn't have missed, and we're just going to throw some gold on it. The sides of the head here. Boop. Boop. Okay. And that is a lieutenant ready for action. So, yeah, it's not hard. He's a little shiny because he's still wet, but he looks good and he's ready for the table. And you guys can do this, no problem. I mean, take your time if you make a mistake. Don't throw the miniature in the trash, just fix it. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Like, subscribe. I'm getting close in subscribers to where I'll be able to live stream soon. Uh, let me know what we should do with this miniature. I'm not a Space Marine player, I'm a Tyranid player. Um, should we give it away? Should we uh, contribute to the dry brush palette? Um, yeah, y'all choose its fate. Take care. Have a wonderful week.